I first encountered Agnes in graduate school. I read a case study about a young trans girl in the 1950s who lied her way into the UCLA gender clinic to get access to surgery. And I remember reading it and thinking, this whole thing is a lie. You know, I remember thinking, this passage is a lie. It's not telling the real story. The flip for me to the talk show is in part a nod to the fact that I think from many people of our generation, the talk show was the place where many of us first encountered gender nonconforming subjects. You might be wondering where people go when they are experiencing problems of a sexual nature. An experimental research team at UCLA is interviewing dozens of people about emerging problems of sex and gender. It's wild to be a part of a project like this that kind of blows open a vault. Your parents must be a little overwhelmed by your desire for all these changes. Yeah, well, you know, they're old people. I have a friend, she's like me, and she helped me take a position as a receptionist at a hair salon. Does the owner know about you? They know I can type. I put a bit of paint over the F on my driver's license, but the police scraped it off. They asked me, are you a man or a woman? And I said, well, th that's a matter of opinion. We have heard the story told by the hunter and not by the lion and not by the lions who not only fought back, but got away. I have a tricky relationship to the truth for myself. We've all been misled so many times. How do you justify the lies? How do you justify your questions? 